In this video, I want to show you how picture fill works and how it solves a very common problem with responsive websites in terms of images. So for instance, this is the completed project, which is what we're going to be working on in a second. Uh, but I want to show you what this uh, actually solves. So uh, you might have a website with a large banner image, for example, where the height is quite uh, short, whereas the width is really wide. So it's like sort of a, a landscape picture, if you will. So when you reduce this in size, as you can see, the height gets really really small and cramped and the smaller you get the smaller this will get proportionally so this doesn't look so great on a narrow device so where picture fill comes into play based on our breakpoints that we set up beforehand it will actually swap out this image with another image that fills the space uh, more effectively so in this example if we keep going you'll see the image changed and the height is now larger so it's the idea with this is that you use the same exact picture but you have a couple of different crops or maybe three different crops of the same image one image might be cropped where it's this sort of a wide image and the same image can be cropped again more like a square that way it looks pretty good on a narrow device and there's also a fallback uh, whenever these images perhaps are not available or these uh, breakpoints aren't met it'll fall back to a default image so you always have an image uh, to fall back onto so this is picture fill in action so again, if you have this picture uh, where it's too wide, when you get really narrow, it you know kind of gets distorted, really small. Uh, but this way, you can serve up to the same image, just sized a couple of different ways, so that way it still looks good on a narrow display. So how do we get this to work? So we're going to start off with a fresh code pen. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and open up a code pen. And we're going to use uh, Picture Fill. So this is the website for Picture Fill. Uh, I'll have a link to this in the notes below. Uh, what you need to do first is download the Minified. You can use the stable version here. And this is the version you'll be using in your project. One thing to note when you include this project, uh, this, you need a link to the uh, script file, the Picture Fill uh, JavaScript file. It does need to belong in the head section of your HTML. Just keep that in mind. I'm going to be using this CDN. I'll also have a link to this as well. Uh, linking to the same file. So instead of having to download the file to my computer and upload it, I can actually link to this uh, CDN here, the Content Delivery Network, so that way it's going to be available for me uh, uh, online. So what we need to do first, let's jump back into our fresh code pen. I'm going to rename this to Picture Fill Example. Uh, you don't need the JavaScript panel. You can uh, We'll minimize the CSS panel for now. Open up HTML. Uh, here's the head portion here. And so what we're looking for is they're asking us to include a script tag in the head. So here we go. Let me just kind of recap this real quick. Click this little gear icon in the HTML tab. And this will open up this pop-up inside this HTML area. You'll see here stuff for the head. I'm going to paste that in, but this is not the link that we want. So I'm going to go back to that CDN. Make sure we have this copied. This right here. Copy that head back over to this example and just replace that link. So now we're linking to that CDN. Perfect. So now we have jobs, uh, rather we have uh, picture fill all hooked up, ready to go. And if we look at their documentation page here, you'll see some different use, use cases. So here's one example use case here. So you have an image tag and you have a source set and you have two different source sets. So this is the 1x version of the same image and then you have the 2x version. They're both the same image except one is 768 pixels wide and then the other is 384. So if you have a high resolution display like a 5K iMac monitor for instance or a 4k monitor uh, for example you'll get this high resolution uh, version of the image however if you have a regular 1080p type of web uh, monitor you'll get the lower uh, version so that way you're serving the correct uh, image for the monitor that somebody's viewing the website on so this is one way to use picture film uh, but in, you know, here's another one here with different sources and uh, size sizes attributes. But the version that we're going to be using, let's scroll down just a little further down, is this version here, and this solves that common problem I just uh, demoed for you. And this is how I like to use picture fill myself. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this code here. Copy that. Head back over to your project, paste it in, and you'll see some uh, links to. Um, uh, different images and different sizes with these arguments in place. So with picture uh, fill you want to go from your largest breakpoint to your smallest breakpoint in terms of the uh, uh, arguments that you set up if you will. So what I'm going to do is that min width a thousand pixels I'm going to switch this to let's say 600 pixels. So in other words if 
if the viewport, in this case is this space over here, is 600 pixels and above, serve this particular image. In our case, we don't have, this is not an actual link to an actual live picture, uh, but this is, this is what it would serve. If the, if the images are less than that, so I'm gonna change this to max width. So in other words, if it's less than 600 pixels, here, it's gonna serve this URL and this different image. So this will be our sort of a landscape image and this will be our square image. And this will just be our default image and don't forget that alt attribute uh, uh, information. So in this, in this case, we'll just do picture fill example. Very good, so this is all you would need here. And because this is a responsive site, let's go ahead and target all the images on the page. Max width 100%. This way all the images will resize automatically for us with the viewport here. So what we need to do now is just the images. So I'm gonna use picture fill for this, I'm sorry, uh, placeholder. And there's an example here of a link to uh, an image you can grab. So just kind of copy this here, copy that, head back over to uh, your uh, code pen, and then just replace this link to the image here. Very good, so here's our image. One thing to note though, because this website here is HTTPS, you need to also have this link to HTTPS, otherwise the image just does not show up. So right now we're looking at a min width of 600 pixels, so this is 600 pixels in here. So very good, so I wanna change this to 1000 by let's say 300. So it's a kind of a wide image here, very good. And let's say for example, if I keep this image just to demonstrate what I was uh, showing before it's just let's say we just keep this default image here and if so as I resize this you see that the height here gets really cramped and it gets more and more difficult to see what's in the picture so this is where picture fill really shines so in our case at at min width 600 pixels and above this image will show this uh, uh, landscape version however once you get to 600 pixels and below using this max width argument here, we're gonna change this to more of a square. So 600 by 400. And I'm gonna keep the default here, very sort of generic, let's just do a square. So in other words, if none of these argument arguments are met, you'll get this other image here. So you always have some image showing up no matter what. So you always wanna have that. Uh, so now once we reduce the size, you see that the image gets um, changed out. So if you wanted to just include some uh, copy below, let's go to this website, lorem2.com. Just gonna grab this uh, lorem ipsum copy here. Let's just drop it in here. Don't forget the paragraph tag. So I'm gonna use the cursor here, hold down my control key. On Mac, I believe it's the command key. Uh, oops, we don't need these. Go ahead and create that P tag for us. And close the P tag. So now we have our paragraph tag below, and you, as you can see, as the image uh, gets swapped out, the paragraph, uh, the paragraphs get shifted down. It takes up that space uh, very seamlessly. So this is an example of picture fill in action. So this way you have a, on a responsive website, maybe on a desktop, it looks like this. You can include even more arguments if you like. So for example, uh, so min width, let's say we'll have this at 800. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this here, paste that right here. So in this case, what we want to do is actually change this, this uh, max width to min width. So basically that we have, stretch this back out. So at uh, min width uh, 600 rather, let's start it from the top. So at min width 800 pixels, so this is the viewport being 800 and above, we get this larger image, 1000 by 300, which is here at the very top. Then as you reduce the viewport smaller, you hit this min width 600 and above. So meaning between 800 and 600 pixels, you get the, this image here, which is 800 by 400 pixels. And if you keep going down to max width 600 pixels, we switch to the square. So this way you have three different breakpoints and you can add as many in here as you as you want. So you wanna start off with these mid widths and start sort of going from a larger to smaller. And then once you get to the smaller, uh, I find that this max width works out pretty well. You can also probably change this, you know, actually change this to mid width, let's say 250 and a, oops, 250 pixels and above, and you'll get that image as well. And again, you'll default to this last one if none of these uh, arguments are met. So remember, you wanna go from larger to smaller.